But he, I mean, he was an incredible pitcher, and he pitched in the major leagues. He wasn't Great. like some some guy they trot out to, like a Rudy character. Oh, bring him out. The game's over. No, he was a starting pitcher. He went out there, you know, in the standard rotation, just like any other pitcher, except he only had one hand. It was crazy. And he, he had to love a guy like that. Yeah, that was uh, that was my team when I was a kid. Uh, now, of course, I think it's this one. <laughs> yes, this, there it is. And we found another pylum. How is that? Thirteen to thirty-three. All right, that's already better. Adds three to four damage, which is already added in, and one to two cold. So probably not as good. No, no, not as good. 66 to 110, you can't compete with that poison damage and the, the fire damage. The cold damage just isn't going to do it. Even though I love cold. Even though I love cold, but not right now. So, yeah, my baseball team opening day was actually today. The day that I'm recording. You know, I'm very excited. Uh, we, we have a, a team that most people say will either win the division or at least make the playoffs. And it looks like there's a waypoint here, but we're not done here yet. Just not quite yet. Not quite yet, I don't think. I think I still got some time. Uh, most people are saying at least make the playoffs. Some of us are, some, some people are putting the Angels as, as the favorites because we signed the, uh, the best player in baseball this year, which is uh, Albert Pujols. <laughs> yeah, I know. But still, he's the best player in baseball. And, and we finally got a, a big free agent signing here. Ooh, helm. My helm is in need of updating. Not by you, though. Not by you. Can't compete with all resistances plus 10%. It, it's just... That thing is becoming so hard to, to replace, and that becomes a burden over time. That is going to be awesome, though. We're not done here in the Lost City. We got more to do, don't we? We're like... Did I miss, like, stairs or something? The Lost City is one of those places that I never am confident that I fully needed. Because <laughs> there's so many corridors and that kind of stuff. Oh, another jewel. I will identify that right now. Plus 27. No, that's being sold. I'm not wasting a spot on, uh, on there for, for that. I mean, as you can see, jewels are starting to become a little bit more common. So there's no need to just automatically throw whatever you can find in terms of jewels on there. So, yeah, just basically less requirements. I already have it equipped. What that means, the less requirements, is like, let's say, uh, it if you want to use this certain weapon it requires uh, 50 strength and you don't have 50 strength let's say you have minus 15 percent 50 ah, forget it whatever if you had like 47 I think that you know 15 percent down should cover that you know that way you can you can equip stuff that you normally couldn't where do you want me to go from here I swore there had to be another path leading from the lost city. Maybe I missed the dungeon? I swore... I swore there had to be a way further on, but I just don't see it anywhere around here right now. I see a dark... But... Oh, there it is. It's up there. Wait, is that it? No, that's where we were. Damn it. I hate getting lost in this game. And it so rarely happens, but when it does, like, there's nothing I can freaking do about it. Let's put on a stamina potion so I can run and like the wind. There we go. That's where I need to go. It was up here. Which is kind of weird. Wait, is there... Yeah, there's a lock chest in here. Like I said, this is one of those places that I'm never sure that I got I everything. What do you mean I can't carry that? You can disappear and apparently I threw it over I had to run to throw it away. How's that? Yeah, I guess that's good. I know that's a level 1 spell, but I'll hold on to it so I can sell it anyway. 
And here we go, we are entering the Valley of Snakes, which should lead us to the quest dungeon that we are looking for. But yeah, as I've said for so many times, I, I am a big fan. Oh, snap. Viper Temple's right there. Is there anything else here? There isn't. This place is, well, kind of like the burial grounds. It's a dead end. There's nowhere else you can go except for in the dungeon. So let's go ahead and go in the dungeon then. Claw Viper Temple, level one. And here we find claw vipers. As you might expect, they are snakes, large snakes. I am overburdened. I can't even carry it. This can be tossed. Alright. Now these guys, they can knock you back. And they can also... Uh, they have like a charge attack. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave that for now. And salamanders! We've already got upgrades to the claw vipers. I don't know if we saw claw vipers before, but... We're definitely going to see them here and... Yes, I want to look at the Grand Scepter. What what do I have that I can drop? All right. How is that? Holy crap, is that good? Uh, so it's not it's not for me, but it's still very good, and I will sell that. But always been a fan of baseball my whole life. Play as a kid, always you. loved it. Um, Hello. I, I know way too much about baseball. <laughs> it's probably good for my health. Um, I would love 9%, mm, not just 9%, no, that's not going to cover it. How are you? Faster cast rate. Do not cast. See, I told you, this wasn't going to be that good because it only had the plus one. So 453. Ha, I sold for leet. Awesome. Been a fan since I was a kid of, of baseball. Will continue to be a fan. Uh, for many, many years. Love my angels since they're Approach here. Tree. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's kind of how you gr fall in love with a team. I don't know anybody that's kind of like, I love that team way over there. They are awesome. They kick our ass all the damn time. I don't have anything in the cube. Are you kidding me? I could have stored some stuff in the cube. I forgot. Apparently to put anything in there. So, if you ever had questions about baseball, uh, I'm probably the guy to talk to. I know way too damn much. I even know what some of the sabermetric stuff is, like war, OPS, jeez, uh, XFIP. I know most of those. I know how most of them are bullshit. Especially war. War is complete and utter shit. For those of you that don't know, war is basically a statistic where they try to say how many games you will win if you have this player as opposed to a triple-A player for the same position. So, let's say you have a first baseman in the major leagues. Um, how much? How many more games are you going to win by having this player as opposed to his replacement? And to be honest, like the highest total is like 12. That the best player in the team will give you 12 wins over a replacement player. And I just, it just does not make sense to me. This, this is not that good. I'm, I'm not even going to take it back. I know that's not good. Amplify damage. So, um, but the problem with war, so it tries to add up everything about a player from his defense uh, to um, how many RBIs he he's hits, how many home runs he hits, all that kind of stuff is factored into this one statistic. But if if I'm paying a guy, you know, two hundred million dollars, you know, twenty million dollars a year, and he's only getting me twelve wins, that doesn't sound like a benefit to my team. You know what I mean? But then I, you know, start doing the math in my head, and it still doesn't make sense. I'm like, this guy still should be winning me more than 12 games a season. <laughs> you know, there's 162 games in the season. Yeah, whatever. Okay, that's enough baseball. I know most of you do not care about baseball. I find it boring. And again, there are also sports that I find boring. I try, 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 try to watch uh, soccer and hockey. Um, I can't say I tried to watch NASCAR. To me, that just 
it just looks boring even when I'm watching the highlights. But, you know, soccer and hockey, at least when I watch the highlights for of all the, the goals, that, that at least looks cool. Or, you know, the good saves, that kind of stuff. But when I try to watch it live, I can't do it. There was a game the other day that I was trying to watch. I uh, watched it for about 10 minutes because uh, it was the only thing on TV at the restaurant, you know, where I was eating lunch. <laughs> And it was supposed to be a really good game. It was supposed to be one of the, the two two of the best teams out there um, in the European League, I guess. Um, and I watched it for about 10 minutes. And in that 10 minutes, there's no shots on goal, which is exactly, you know, to me, I'm like, you need more shots on goal if you want it to be interesting. Uh, so... I'm watching it for 10 minutes, and eventually somebody gets an open shot. He gets a header at the goal. He's about 30 feet in front of the goal, and he missed it by about 20 feet. In my mind, I'm like, that's not even close. I have never practiced a header in my life. I think I could get it closer to than what you just did. I'm going to stop watching now. <laughs> and that's kind of the way I have to look at things, you know what I mean? Hockey, I, I try to watch, but to be honest, I can't follow the puck. So, you know, w once you lose sight of, of one of the main parts of the game, it's, it's hard to try to catch up. And, you know, everybody stands up, they scored a goal, and I'm like, where's the puck? <laughs> oh, it's in the net. Yay, go team. <laughs> go sports. Alright, let's level up here. We're at level 21. Still three away from uh, getting the next one. I'm going to put most of my points into concentration for now because it does increase both my and Al Hazir's damage by 15% every time. So uh, we're at 150%. Uh, the other thing that I put it into is Blessed Hammer. Uh, but right now it is at uh, 45 to 54 magic damage. Oh man, the cost does go up over time. Interesting. Uh, but uh, that's what it is base stat, but I'm probably getting about double that right now. So we're talking about you know 90 to 100 damage per blessed hammer, uh, and for now that's pretty good and should be able to kill most enemies and be able to handle most bosses if I start spamming it. And trust me, against bosses, I spam it, especially the end of the act bosses. Damn it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! They kept on knocking me back, those salamanders. I do not like salamanders, even though you guys kind of look like salamanders. Branch. Take a look at it. Ethereal. The only thing I care about, if it's ethereal, is the uh, the pole arms that Al Hazir can wear, or well, anything that he can wear, really. Then it being ethereal does not matter anymore. Yeah, look at that. Blessed Hammer is just one-shotting everything in sight. Not even Al Hazir can apparently one-shot these things, but my hammer did. Uh, this goes down to level two, so let's finish out this floor. These are very large floors, though. We are definitely getting to the point where there's going to start being more flowers. But like I said, I'm going to try to do what I can to get this done uh, before Diablo 3 comes out, which is May 15th. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but I'm, I'm doing what I can to get that done. And that's all that I can promise. Uh, like I said, I refuse to do more than three videos a day. I, I don't want to make them too much longer than maybe 25 minutes each. Um, you know, anything more than that, people start, you know, kind of going, that's too long. You know, you'd be surprised how many people go, oh, well, 15 minutes is fine, but 20 minutes is too damn long. Champion! How dare you, Champion 8 around me. I'm the only champion that you need. Me and my scepter of smacking... Let's grab that. I could use that. Rejuvenation potion. Once again, I need to craft in town. Alright, that's all done there. Uh, so, as you guys could probably tell, my interests are very varied. 
they're all over the map. I, I, I consider myself kind of like a an omni nerd. I, I know everything about everything. I know well, I don't know everything about everything, obviously. But I know at least a little bit about most things. Uh, one of my big weaknesses is uh, music. I did say that I am getting my music back. You know, I am an aficionado on on listening to music, but in terms of playing it or uh, being able to tell you chords and that kind of stuff, that I'm not good at. Uh, need to grab the shrine there. Okay. So I think we can go forward now. We can head this way. And I should be able to find... What are we looking for again? The... Serpent Altar and the Headpiece. Should be able to find those up here somewhere. I say should. And I, I know that they're down there somewhere. At least in level 2, they should be here. I'm still mad about that axe. Being ethereal, not being able to use it at all. Alright, let's go down to level 2 there. Oh, wow. Level 2 is like nothing. Alright, so, just need to finish these guys off here. And pick up a long staff, which I will keep. Hold on to that for a second. Use another one of those, and we should be able to find the thing really soon here. I mean, there's a, there's obviously a special thing right here. Special little part of the dungeon. And I should be able to get rid of that. There is fake skin here, though. And... There we go, yeah, all done. Give me that stud letter. Uh, do I have any room in my cube? I do. Let's put that and that in there. Clear up some room. We have that morning star, a couple healing potions, maybe. And I think that's it. Just need to go up here and... Where's the entrance to this thing? There's the stairs. Destroy! <laughs> then I just need to kick it. pick up the amulet of the viper and then nothing to the say light can never be extinguished by evil right of course so what I need to do is go back to town real fast because I need to identify and sell all the stuff that I've got Good oh. day. Deckard King has something to say the Viper Amulet you bear is actually the headpiece of a Herodric staff. Yes, you have an uncanny knack for finding rare and valuable artifacts. Of course, you'll have to use a Herodric cube to combine the headpiece with the shaft. I've been speaking with Lord Jaren, and I sense that he is becoming more and more agitated by something. You should try to talk to him again. If he still won't take you into his confidence, seek to prove yourself a bit more. I gather that his respect for you is growing. His respect for me is growing just because I've been doing stuff for him all day? Jeez. Alright, so... He identified all my stuff, right? Yeah, look at that. Sells for Max. Do you want this? No, you don't want that. Of course not. So we have ring, and I think that's all we can do for now. Let's open up the cube. Get these out of there. Neither one is pretty, either. Neither one is pretty good at all. No, just bad. I've got way too many healing potions, but I think I know what's going to happen next. We need to talk to uh, Drognan anyway, because we did finish the quest, you'll notice that it's uh, kind of bright outside right now. I've been researching the old records, trying to find the location of Tal Rasha's tomb. Though I haven't found the tomb itself, I may have a good lead for you. 
The great Vigerai summoner, Horazon, built his arcane sanctuary somewhere around here. He was a powerful spellcaster and kept demons as slaves within the sanctuary. He kept a close eye on great events too, such as the imprisonment of Baal within Tal Rasha's tomb. If you could find Horazon's sanctuary, I'm sure that it would hold some clue as to the tomb's location. Though I doubt Horazon is still alive, you must proceed with caution. There's no telling what could be waiting inside. When I spoke of this with Lord Jaren, he asked that I send you to him. Perhaps he knows of a secret entrance or the like. Ah, the arcane sanctuary. So, we have uh, completed the quest by destroying the, the altar there. That's why everything is back to light. Uh, anything I want. Plus one to Blessed Hammer. That's that's it, though. Plus two Blessed Hammer, but... Oh, good lord, I can't even afford that. Alright. Quest log. Quest completed. Tainted Sun. Look for the Arcane Sanctuary within the palace. What? Surely not. First, let's make this. No. You... You go. That's what happens when you do it with a quest time. Doesn't that look awesome? Kinda sucks though. Horadric staff. I mean, it attacks fast, but it doesn't do much of anything else. I mean, it's kinda good, but yeah, don't use it as a weapon. In fact, I'm just gonna st store it in here. And there we go. Uh, looks like I am out of room here, so I'm gonna need to use the cube. Uh, I'll, you'll just see what it looks like after it's done. Alright, uh, that's pretty much all I did. Nothing that special. Uh, I, I'm going to stop picking up rejuvenation potions now. I have plenty of full rejuvenation potions. I've got eight total. That, that should hold me over for quite some time. But if, if you remember right, take the staff into Tal Rush's tomb. Find Tal Rush's tomb. Look for the arcane sanctuary within the palace. There's only one of those things we can do. I mean... We have to find. We have to get into the palace somehow. Doctor Kane did say Hello. to talk to Jaren, so let's go ahead and do that. When the troubles began here, I allowed the terrified harem guilds to join me within the safety of the palace. All was fine until one night. Screams echoed up the stairwells from the harem. My guards arrived to find the poor girls being slaughtered by a merciless band of hell-spawned demons. My brave guardsmen tried to push the demons back into the mysterious rift from which they came. Ever since, my men have fought a losing battle. Demons have continued to pour through the rift into the palace. Ultimately, I hired Greys and his mercenaries to help protect the rest of my fair city. Drognan believes that the arcane sanctuary lies buried underneath this palace, since Lutgalane occupies the site of an ancient Vigerai fortress. My palace is open to you now. Take care. So we can actually go inside the palace now. Let's take a look at that. Just... Okay. It didn't... It said that it updated my quest log, but it didn't. What do you have to say about this? Welcome to the palace. Okay, thank you. Uh, but that is actually going to do it for these episodes of Let's Play Diablo 2. Next time we'll, we'll head into the palace and look for the Arcane Sanctuary, which I hate. I hate that place. But I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts of Let's Play Diablo 2. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my paladin and Al Hazir, the timid. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.